Hello everybody. Today we're going to be doing a video on how to take apart a Fox Float Racing Shock. Um, I don't know what model this is other than just the Racing Series Shock. It doesn't have a 2 or a 3 on it like most of the other ones I've seen on the internet. But there isn't a good video on how to do this yet that I've found, so I figured I'd make one for you guys. So the first step is going to be releasing all of the air out of here, which I've already done. And then you're going to want to loosen this from the top here, which I've already done as well. Let me put this down for a second to get this apart. All right, so this just untwists. I used a pipe wrench on it because it was pretty tight when I first went to take it apart. And then you just slide this down. It comes out like that. Alright, so in here, we've got a couple of seals that you want to inspect. Make sure they're all greased up and stuff when you go to put this back together. And then, like I said, I've already had this apart. But under here, you've got that hole right there. The small one is going to have like a, uh, a check valve type uh, Allen head in it. This little tiny guy here. I took it out and it released all of the oil from inside there so I wasn't able to get a good measurement on how much oil is supposed to go back in this when you're rebuilding it. But I did just guess based off my general knowledge of doing shocks how much is supposed to be in there. Um, so anyways, to take this part further you're going to need a specialty tool, unfortunately. This tool is about $55 on eBay, and it just fits inside of the holes on the top of here and lets you hook up a socket to it, socket wrench, so that you can untwist this. Mine was extremely tight. I could not have done it without this. I did try using other methods, such as a couple of bolts in there, and it ended up just bending them, so that's definitely not the way to go. Also, you don't want to be putting a pipe wrench or anything on the edge of here because this is all aluminum and it's very soft. You can't get the leverage without destroying your seals. Alright, so I'm going to take that off of there to show you what it looks like on the inside. So you want to get that in there nice and good. Mine's pretty tight, so it took me a minute to be able to get it down inside those holes. And like I said, it's pretty tight. So mine took quite a bit of force to get off there. And then you just untwist it. And that pops out of there. So inside of this, you've got another seal on here. You want to visually inspect, make sure it looks good and everything. You could add a little grease when you put it back in to make sure it slides smoothly, but also inside there is going to be oiled. So it's maybe not really necessary to grease it as well. 